with other chickens. You know how like the chicken came before the egg or did the egg come before the chicken? Um, I have an answer to that. Yeah. It's pretty, pretty, just makes sense. Yeah. Obviously the egg came. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Let me tell you why. So they was fucking, right? Whatever animals. If you believe in evolution even a little bit, kind of like maybe it kind of makes sense a little bit, boom, somebody was fucking, somebody was fucking, boom, the baby looked different. All right, cool, the baby mixed between whatever and whatever. Right. And the baby keep being mixed until, what the fuck this little nigga? I don't know, let's call him a chicken. That's kind of how it happened. Yeah, yeah. Like, the egg pop open and it's like, I don't even know this little kid. You show his mind. It's like, I mean, who else, right. could, who else could it be for? And it's like, we ain't never seen nothing like it, so I don't know who else could be for. Yeah, because nobody Boom, knows chicken. in the background, like, yo, it might have been a chicken. Right. But it might have been, like, a fucking pelican that with had a, sex with, a, with a, yeah. a zebra. Yeah. And it came out to be a chicken. Yeah. That's why they get, like, black and white feathers. You know? Yeah. Like, you I know? don't I don't agree with that specific yeah, thing, yeah. but, yeah. Because I think it's crazy. For it to be a chicken, for a chicken to come out right. and then lay eggs. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, if the chicken came first, that means there wasn't an egg that the chicken was in. Right. Right? So that means the chicken came straight out of something and then it came out with eggs. It's like, my nigga, how you get eggs in you, but you ain't come out of an egg? You know right. What I'm about? So you had to come out of an egg and then make eggs. That's how I feel. You know what I'm saying? I feel you 100%, man. That sounds like. That sounds you feel like, me? That sounds you feel ex me? extra intelligent. I'm not going to lie. Because females have eggs in them and they come out of eggs. Bow. Yeah. Like egg illusion. Egg illusion. Mm hmm. But it's not the egg that everybody's worried about, it's actually the chicken. At the end of the day. But it came out the egg. Yeah. But you couldn't came. even see the egg in a female. You you just have to visualize it in a microscopic sense. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. yo, maybe that egg. Is this part of the interview? No, no. This it, is tight. Yeah. <laughs> Why are we not recording this? It is recorded. Okay, good. Yeah. Well, it's part of the interview then. Yeah, 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 for sure. Why are we recording it? Yeah, we record it. We're talking about These eggs. are the questions that people need answers to. Yeah. So, this is yeah. the This is the questions people don't ask, you know? If they ask it, they're not really serious about it. We serious today. Yeah, let's be Can serious. Can we go on record and say we serious? We're serious. We're serious. All right, so right here, man. This is your boy, Dex. I just want to say what's good. I like when I'm I with your boy, your John boy. Doe. Yeah. John fucking Doe. Fucking yes. Doe or fucking. Fucking. With a double G. Yes. Because that's extra G's if you don't get it. Straight up. Extra cheese. What's in your wallet? There you go. Like a G. Like a G. Yeah. All right. Uh, well, um... Let them know who you are. Like, where you come from, man? What do you do? How do you feel? Who you is? No, nah, no. Nah, real talk, real talk. Let, let's go. Which one? All right. <laughs> Introduce yourself, John Doe. All right, man. I'm John fucking Doe. Uh, I hail from the boot, Louisiana. Right now, I'm currently living in Houston. In 2016, at the, in, in the month that we in, I'm living in Houston. I don't know what's going to happen by the time you see this. I don't know. It might be next year. It might be motherfucking who knows, whatever. So, yeah. Uh, right now, I'm just rapping and trying to come up with ways to maneuver through uh, these musical streets and come up with financial endeavors that benefit everybody around me so we can take that and put it into more creative ideas and, you know what I'm saying, hopefully funnel that all into the freedom that is the American dream. There you go. Yeah, that was kind of extensive. Yeah, I very extensive. To, I didn't expect to say none of that. I enjoyed it, though. Cool. Yeah, so, I mean, you say you're a rapper. You, you like to rap. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. What are your main biggest influences? Like, where do you get your style from? You know what I'm saying? Well, the biggest rapping influence that I had, because I used to rap sandwiches at Subway. Right. So, my biggest influence is Subway. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Not Jerry, just Subway themselves. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because yeah, definitely. You nobody can't. does it like from my from my experience. Nobody did it like them. You know what yeah. I'm saying? They was like the originators of like rapping them, rapping sandwiches. You yeah, you, you could argue that with the burrito and and Mexicans. You know, they do a good job on rapping. I'm not gonna argue with Mexicans. <laughs> 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 no, like they rap the sandwiches. Right. And not. It was a wrap. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The burrito is wrapped itself. Yeah. The sandwich, you make the sandwich, then you wrap that. So my rapping influence comes from having a package and boom. It's like, yeah, yeah everybody got a sandwich, but who, you know what I'm saying? So, you so got basically a in a sandwich sense, that you made in your kitchen, but I, I wrap mine. Right. You understand? Well, basically in a sense, a what you're trying to say is you don't have any influence. You just straight up, this is all you. You know what I'm oh, saying? Oh, no, that's not what I was trying to say at all. I was just bullshitting. But not, yeah. uh, <laughs> I mean, I listen to a lot of things coming up, man. Listen to, um... 
my uncle, okay, so my people, we all from New Orleans. We all from the New Orleans area, West, right. West Bank, you know what I'm saying? Most of my people come from the projects, blah, 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 but you know, they moved over to the West Bank. I was born, you know, my mom take me out the hospital, boom, go straight to the West Bank. I spent a lot of years in BR, also Baton Rouge. So, um, my influences come, of course, from that area also. Um, my uncle, he used to listen to fucking a lot of uh, New York music, you know what I'm saying? Jay-Z, Rough Riders, you dig? Of course, we had Mystical, we had fucking uh, Hot Boys, we had, you know, the typical, yeah, yeah. And then um, my cousin used to listen to Bone Thugs. That's one of my favorite groups now. The nigga looked like a lost member of Bone Thugs. <laughs> and so within my family by itself, music was just fucking everywhere. My mom used to do music. My mom used to rap. So, I mean, music was always around me. I was, well, I was, and then my stepdad came around. He used to listen to fucking Tupac and E-40. Uh, E40 and E40 and Sick with it click or whatever, you know what I'm saying? So I was always being influenced by different styles and shit, you know right. what I'm saying? So I the other day I was listening to Tupac and you know the day before and I listened to Mayor Hawthorne sometimes because I started getting into more open minded shit, you know, yeah. being around Caucasians and different people like that. Yeah, for sure. So shout out to Caucasians and the for, Caucasus for Mountains that. and the Caucasus. Shout out to the mountains, you right. understand? So I, I fuck with everything. You know what I'm saying? And I just like the different areas that music is able to go to. Like, there's no wrong way to make music. Right. You know what I'm saying? You just need to find your market. Like, you can always... Like, Kid Cudi came out and it's like, who the fuck gonna listen to this nigga? And it's like, the emo rap type shit. Yeah. And then and he's exploded. fucking... He's able to do his thing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because there's somebody needs to hear whatever you have to say. On different platforms with, with no problem. You know what I'm saying? Kid Cudi can just go everywhere. But I noticed you were talking about, like, a whole bunch of, like, old school... Well, I wouldn't call it old school. I would call it, like, the golden era of hip-hop. Not even the golden the era. And stuff. But yeah, yeah, in the yeah. '90s, you know what I'm saying? Like, like when hip hop was was you know hip hop, that was it was straight lyricism. That's that's all mm -hmm. it was about. And uh, I just wanted to, to to ask you, how do you feel about the new rappers and, and new hip hop? You know what I'm saying? And, and I'm talking about like not just like the lyrical part, hip hop in the whole. Like, I already everybody knows how how the radio is with music, but how do you feel about hip hop and the whole as a whole right now? I said in the whole. Yeah, you nasty boy. Yeah, yeah, for um, sure. Hip hop itself. Nah, I'm playing. But nah, hip hop itself. Um, everything goes in phases, and also the people that are in prominence are in the mainstream right now. And as far as 2015, 2016, or whatever, there's some super lyrical people out in the front stage, and then there's some um, some gibberish out in the front stage. Now, there's no way to say that one thing is right, one thing is wrong, because art you can't. You can't judge art in a sense of right or wrong or good or bad. You know right. what I mean? It's like, if you don't relate to it, that's cool. Just consume some other type of art. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, even if I don't listen to everybody that's out, I still can respect what it is that they're doing and what right. they're trying to do. Uh, even if I say that's some bullshit, that's just me basically saying that's some shit that I wouldn't partake in right. or indulge in myself. I used to not listen to certain rappers and then when I stopped trying to compare them to people that I wanted them to be and I started accepting them for what they were, I was like, yo, that shit tight. Definitely because a responsible it's like, answer. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because that's what it is. At the end of the day, I wouldn't want nobody to be like, yo, man, you don't sound like my favorite rapper, so you're not good. Right. Because that's not the case. It's just like, I don't sound like that nigga. And if that's what you like all the time, then that's cool. But when it's time to open up your horizons and move outside of that, you want a different feeling, different perspective, different, you know what I'm saying? Some right. type of different input in your life, then at that point, you're, you're allowed to do that. So, I mean, it is what it is, man. Let people do their thing. They make their money. I try not to hate on people, you dig? So yeah. Let them live life. Yeah. All right, so another question. This is completely off the subject. Oh, we ain't got no subject? Yeah, yeah, we just talking. Okay. We just talking. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> basically, top five famous women you would smash. What's your top five list? I just need to know that. All right, disclaimer. This is not saying I would smash them today. Yeah, right? or this any order, saying, right? This, this, straight this up. is not any order, and this is not saying, hey, right now, because uh, I'm taken yeah, they, I'm off the market. I, I apologize. Because I'm going to get cursed out. For the question. Yeah, I'm going to get yeah. cursed out later. Yeah. But I'm going to go ahead and just say, in general, in life, at one point or another, who would I have? I I have this newfound infatuation with this... Uh, Kiki Palmer. Yeah, for um, sure. You know I was going to say, yeah. Tayana Taylor, Taylor and the Sly fault. My nigga Sly, she, <laughs> she put me up on some, oh, now nah, I'm playing. <laughs> ah, Hold up. I'm playing, I'm playing, I'm playing. Kind of, only a little bit. But, um, all right. Yeah, both of them tight. Um, 
Who else? Golly, they got so many um beautiful women, right? So many beautiful women, man. And it's like, are we just we, we just saying, huh? Mm-hmm. All right. She tripping. Yeah. We just saying smash. We just saying yeah. Like, just smash. Just straight up. You ain't gotta like. Cause I want the connection. Now. I want it to be like. Yeah. I need. I need you to be cool enough to the point where. I, like I. I, I enjoy your body of work, and that's why that that's an addition. No, I'm just talking about strictly. No, no, no. Cause I don't want it to be like, hey, bro. You know, like yeah, get we, out that we smashed, and it's like. You did that, and it's like, I got to explain it. Yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying? So I want it to be something to the point where I can just, at the end of the day, I can know, like, all right, I didn't waste a nut on somebody. Right, you know what right. I'm saying? Like, oh, the body was tight, but they got a tight body I mean, it keeps producing, though. It's no, no waste, man. It's like for everybody. True. I mean, You yeah. nasty. You nasty. <laughs> uh, so, uh, yeah, Tay, Tayana Taylor and Kiki. Oh, somebody else got some ass. Lulu Simmons. Dang, I got to look that tight. up. You yeah. gotta look her up, yeah. fool. She, yeah. Gotta look that up. Yeah, I ain't see the airbrush nothing, and no. everything looked like yeah. 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 So, boom, that's three, and then Michelle open. Nah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Shit. This shouldn't be so hard. It shouldn't. But Instagram has so many, like a plethora of options, and I'm like, oh, uh, I wouldn't. Yeah. And then that's like, yeah. I'm so, I'm, I'm I'm mad you famous. Yeah, I'm mad you limit your options to Instagram. Though. Well, I mean, I'm just saying <laughs> the world opens up when you right. got the internet, right? Because it's like, oh, you just oh, Miss Hustle. You only you know got two saying? more though. You only got two more though. Dog, I'm gonna just throw. I'm gonna just spit fire. Yeah, I'm yeah. Just spit fire. I don't want to spit fire. Um, Skin Diamond, the porno star. Oh car, yeah, for sure. Just cause she. Gross. Yes, nasty. Disgusting. In the cool way. Yeah. And then, um, uh, famous. Uh, I hope somebody, I hope one of these famous just see this and be like, here's some. Yeah. No, I don't. No, I don't. <laughs> Cross that out. <laughs> but, uh, nah, man. Um, I'm gonna just leave the fifth one. I'm gonna, it's gonna pop in my head later. Let's just move on because yeah, I really yeah. can't. You know. Well, this is it, man. I just wanted the people to get a chance to. Damn, I wish you had another question because I wanted to think. I yeah, wanted to have. You really like, wanted, I wanted to think? To, I well, to I mean, yo. this this was all. This is it. I just wanted the people to get to know John fucking Doe. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I wanted them, you know, I mean, we hear your music. Mm-hmm. We see your videos. You do. And we really just wanted to see, you know, like, who is this behind the video? And that's Straight all up. this is all about. You know what but I'm saying? But technically, I'm in front of the video and you behind it. Yeah, I'm, shot it. I'm definitely behind it. Young video. nigga. <laughs> shout out to Visually Dex. Visually uh, underscore Dex. And that's uh, D-E-X, not D-E-C-K-S or some weird shit yeah. that you was going to do with it. <laughs> Visually Dex. Yeah, man. Yeah, you ain't got no more. That's it, man. That's it, man. I definitely appreciate you coming through, man. Hey, you know? hey. If this was another time in my life, I would say, hey, yo, fifth girl, hit my DMs and tell me that I should have picked you. But I ain't going to say that, nah, that because yeah, 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 I can't wait. talk like that, right? Yeah, I wink, right? Nah, All right, cool. Nah, I keep the winks. You ain't getting filmed. <laughs> I'm not winking. Yeah. You winking, though? Nah, nah, nah. You feel that? Nah. I'm winking for you, dog. Like, I ain't say that. In the background. I ain't say that. Yeah. I was just saying I would say that in a different time of life, but we're not at that time of life, right? Hey, so it's your boy, Dex. You got John fucking dope. <laughs> It was fine, bro. And that's the interview. That's the interview. Oh, you been slipping? That's none of my business. And that's where the Kermit the Frog, my nigga. All of my homies are hoes. We just want to ball. We got to stay moving. No bump on the law. You must want to rain some cookies if you thinking that you want to see the fall. Niggas get smoke, yeah, I'm puffing them all. Hate motivates me. I'm loving it all. I'm selling me on these fresh me. You knowing that I'm going to be fucking them all. Who do you call when you feel like you can maneuver at all? All you niggas are Stacey that's cool.